Good evening. We begin tonight with a police chase that solves one burglary and maybe more. Deputies say that chase led to the recovery of a victim stolen property. News on Six's Tristan Land is on the story and talk to that victim tonight. Tristan. Lori, the woman says it was an awful feeling to come here to her home and realize that burglars had been inside. Someone just busted through. They busted it out. We've now put a little bit more reinforced door back in there. But Lacey Fairchilds walked into her Sand Springs home Thursday evening and found her back door kicked in. So I called Osage County. I called 911 and had them send somebody out because I didn't know if somebody was still in the house or not. It was very scary. The burglars took several property items, including her guns. They got two 22 long rifles, uh, her 243 um, rifle, the Xbox, my crossbow, and some controllers and my laptop. She says the hunting rifles can be replaced, but it's the memories that were taken along with her laptop that are irreplaceable. When I found out and I went back in there and I realized they took that laptop, it just broke me. That had all of our pictures from like 20 years, anything for the kids, our merit, everything on there. Osage County deputies say they've arrested Gary Day Jr. Deputies say he led several agencies on a chase Saturday morning, and when it was over, they found Fairchild's property in his Jeep. Fairchild says she doesn't believe the burglary was a random hit. Karma's a funny thing. It has a really good way of working around, so they'll get what's coming to them. Fairchild is thankful police found one of her guns, including her laptop. Gary Day Jr. remains in the Osage County Jail tonight on several complaints, including possession of stolen property. Live on the scene on the story in Sand Springs, Tristan Land, News on 6.